Hi guys, Adam here with Barney from Red News, a standing fanzine, and I'm sure they'll have a lot to say after that. Barney, what do you make uh, of it? I'm just gutted, really. I'm tired of going into a game and seeing stuff like that. That's as flat as Brighton. It's reminiscent of Moyes, the Everton 2-0. The place is toxic, and we're six games in. Uh, board, manager, players, all culpable. The board briefing against him, him saying week one of pre-season that the season was a disaster. It, you know, you, when have you ever heard anyone concede at Man United before we've even started? And then the end result is you've got players not giving, busting a gut and the ones who are aren't performing. So it culminates in that. But we come here after weeks, so I've had a week and you want to be cheered up. You want to be buoyed by Manchester United and they are letting us down so badly. I don't know what to say, really. There's lads, everyone's got up at the crack of dawn. There's people who've worked night shifts to see that. Tell me, I'm usually trying to find optimism, but this mm. is, we're in a storm. I could have, you know, we said it after Brighton, we'll say it the next game, we'll say it the next game. I thought we win three, we win four, then we lose. But we're not even doing that. We're playing yeah. two and then losing. Because the I third. thought we'd see that usual bounce back today just not. before it yeah. comes back to that. How, how, if it's that toxic in the week, how can they switch it on and off? It's not a tap. But this is West Ham doing all eyes. It's just... Where do you think the problem... Do you think the problem lies with some of the all players? Of them, or? All of them. They're, they're all culpable. You know, go back to the Glazers. But the Glazers have still spent. So, you know, you can say they, they gave money, but it's just been so scattergun. The whole approach of the club, the, the, the briefing... In, in, sorry, the investor call in May. You know, what happens on the pitch doesn't matter. As yeah. if it's some... Is it a boast? Are you boasting about that? What message does it all send out? This is supposed to be a multi-billion pound organisation. We see it as just our football club, but you act like the multi-pound billion, billion organisation and they're not doing that. I'm just tired. I'm just tired. Tired. Mm. You know. And it's robbing you can tell it's like... It's I'm not saying there's like... The, the fans shit. weren't yeah. exactly like booing or vocal against, but you can tell it's kind of like that. No, it, <sighs> like that. It, will, it, it will. And I don't, I'm never, I'm not, never advocating that. So I'm not saying that, but there's just, if you, if you, if you, if we care as passionately as we do, and that's the end result, where's this going? All right. People say sack Mourinho. If, if the players just turn it around in a, you know, then that's disgraceful because where the f have you been for the last year? But 2018, this isn't this season. We started the year terrible, boring football, negative football. We drew at December. We got knocked out with Seville. He then turned it against the fans. You know, I'm bigger than this seat. You're like Portsmouth. Toxic, top to bottom, toxic. Who the f turns this around? I don't know. Get a director of football in first. That's two months since they said that now. Multi-million pound organisations do things quickly, sharply, incisively. Get one done as soon as possible. So the longer it carries on, this is going to get worse. Well said, mate. Well said. It is. Um, so I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I appreciate I'm you, Barney. Cheers, Thank you very much. Safe journey.